Kirsty Walk has been at the helm of the BBC's flagship news programme Newsnight since 1993. And whilst the Scottish journalist has interviewed countless people over the years, there's one interview that sticks in her mind. A year after joining the show, Kirsty, 68, interviewed Michael Portillo, who was then Secretary of State of Employment. The interview has gone down in history as one of the most awkward encounters after Kirsty snapped back at Portillo, 70, after he accused her of hectoring him. Speaking to Radio Times, Kirsty has revealed that the interview was the first time she had a complaint upheld against her, and explained that the reason for her temper was because she had just suffered multiple bereavements. She said, I interviewed Michael Portillo live, and he used an expression never used by women about men. He said, stop hectoring me. I can't remember my exact words but I struck back, too much on the front foot. Complaints came in. She then added, my mistake wasn't the interview, though, it was being at work that day. Experience the Express like never before advert free experience without interruptions. Rocket fast speedy loading pages. Exclusive unlimited access to all our content. Start 30-day free trial she then opened up about what had happened in the run-up to the interview, explaining that her father and mother's sister had recently died. She continued, in quick succession, my father had died, and my mother's sister, to whom I was very close. I came back too quickly. I always say to people, if you're ill or bereaved, do not rush back. She then added, do not take yourself so seriously that you are the only person who absolutely has to be there that minute. I should have taken two weeks off. The complaint was upheld, and I have no mitigating factor. No matter what you're feeling, what the viewer sees counts. No excuse. My fault. Kirsty announced earlier this month that she would be stepping down from Newsnight after the next election. In a statement, she wrote, when the time comes, it will be a massive wrench. However, it'll be leaving Newsnight but not the BBC. It'll still be presenting the reunion and start the week on Radio 4, TV documentaries too as well as finishing, finally, my third novel. There are exciting times ahead. She added it had been an enormous privilege to be involved in such a rigorous, creative program with a wonderful, talented bunch of colleagues, actually many bunches over the years. Kirsty's interview with the Radio Times is out now.